Hello, welcome to Quiltster Live, our demonstration series. My name is Deborah, and today we are going to show you how to manage your account at Quiltster.com. So once you are subscribed, you can log in and go to your account, which is this little icon up here at the top right. And in here, you can manage your subscription, your personal information, all of your credit card and shipping, and your orders. So the first thing is you will see your current subscription up here at the top, which will either be the monthly or annual plan. The monthly plan is $9.99 per month and will automatically renew every 30 days. The annual plan is $99 per year and will automatically renew every 12 months. And you can always see your next billing date and amount right underneath your subscription. If you have a coupon that has been applied to your account that will uh, be redeemed on your upcoming billing cycle, you will see that amount reflected in the amount here underneath the subscription. So you always know how much you're going to be charged and when. So check there if you're not sure. If you are on the monthly plan and you would like to change your plan to the annual plan, you can do so by clicking Change Plan. You can also downgrade from the annual plan to the monthly plan, but please know that if you are subscribed to the annual plan right now and you change it to the monthly plan, that change will not go into effect until your renewal date comes up for your annual plan. So it could be months out, but once that renewal date uh, arrives, at that point you will switch to the monthly plan because you've already paid for the current time, okay? If you have any questions about that, just go ahead and email us at info at quiltster.com and we will answer you right away. Uh, you can also cancel your plan. If you just want to use Quiltster for a little while and you're not sure if you want to commit to a year, I would recommend signing up for the monthly plan and that will automatically renew every 30 days. And then if you decide that you're not going to use it for a little while, go ahead and cancel it and just say yes, cancel my subscription. And what that will do is it will cancel it at your upcoming billing date. So you'll still have use of your account for the next few days or weeks or months, depending on what your plan is. But it will tell you that your subscription has been canceled, which means there are no more auto renew billings coming up for you. Those have ended. And it will close on your next billing date. So you can use the plan until July 11th in this case, and on July 11th, it will close and you will no longer be able to log in. You can still access all of the public pages, the marketplace, the gallery, etc., cetera, um, but you just won't be able to use the quilt planner, okay? Once you've canceled your subscription, if you change your mind and you decide you want to continue, go ahead and click Keep Plan before the close date, and that will just reinstate your account, okay? If this date passes and you decide you want to keep your account open, you will have to resubscribe at that point. Just remember to use the same email and password that you previously used to reactivate your past account. If you sign up with a new email address, it will start a brand new account and you will not be able to access any projects you made previously because we will save your projects once you cancel. Um, so just make sure to resubscribe with the same credentials that you used before. So that's how you manage your own subscription. Down here in personal information, you can change your name. Um, when you first sign up, it will just grab your email address so you can put your first and last name in there. You can change your display name and this will show up on your print pages and your gallery page. So you can put your real name, your first name and last initial, you can put a nickname, however you want that to show up on those pages. Uh, you can change your email address here if you'd like. Uh, this is the email address that you use to sign in. So when you log in, it asks you for an email address and a password. So just be careful that if you change your email address or your password, which you can do here by clicking on these little pencils, 
um, that that is what you need to use to log into the system, okay? So anytime you see this little blue pencil, that's what this is here, that means you can edit that information, and you'll see that throughout the site. The next area is anytime you place an order, those will be logged here. If you purchase something with a downloadable pattern in it, you can click into your order details, and I don't think, I, I'm not sure if I have an example to show you, but you can click into the order details, and it will show you a summary of exactly what you ordered. If there was a downloadable product, it will show up in this area with a big download button. So you can always access them in your orders. You can update your shipping address and add multiple shipping address. Um, if you want to ship an order to, if you want to gift something to somebody, make sure that's on its own order and add their address in here. Or if you moved or whatnot, you can change the addresses here and make one of them your default. You can update your payment methods here and you can delete old ones and choose which one is the default and add a new one by clicking this button here. Or you can log out. All right, so that is how you manage all of your account information. Again, if you have any questions, please do email us at info at quiltster.com. You can also join our Facebook group called Quiltster Support Network. If you ask to join that group, I'll go ahead and approve you. And there's a great community of quilters in there, who a longtime Quiltster users, brand new Quiltster users, people share projects, and a lot of people use that as a customer support area to ask questions that our community is really active on answering and helping each other out. So feel free to check that out as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, jump on over to quiltster.com and do so now to join in the fun. And remember, every quilt tells a story. The best ones begin with Quiltster. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.